Okay, this video is going to be a little different than what you normally see here. Um, let me give you a little background story, and then I'll show you what's going on. Um, about, I guess it's now two Saturdays ago, August 31st, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, um, a transformer blew up uh, somewhere about, uh, roughly about a quarter mile away. It must have been a pretty big one because we lost power. Um, it was out for a little while couple hours roughly um and i was unfortunately out and didn't know that that was going on but when i got home later on um everything was back to normal and i kind of had to go through the process of you know resetting things and coming back here and turn on the nas because it automatically shut down when the power was gone for more than 20 minutes that it's set up to do that um, but the other thing I found was that the 13.8 um, uh, volt power supply, DC power supply that I used to run my AM radio stuff was dead. Nothing, nothing at all. So I'm like, hmm, okay, that's probably a bad sign. So I got up on the bench and I didn't think about doing this initially until after the fact, but I've already torn the thing apart. I already know kind of what's wrong with it. Um, I'm just hoping that that's actually the only damage. But um, open up the power supply. And I'm going to show you very quickly here, as soon as I get the camera here. Hang on. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay. So here's the inside of the power supply. Okay. Um, not a lot to it. It's a standard switching power supply. Um, but in here... Here, and I will move the camera in a little bit to see if we can make this work. Right here, and I will point this out with a needle nose pliers, is where the fuse goes, right here. Now, when I opened it up, there were pieces of glass everywhere because apparently the short was so violent that it literally blew the fuse apart. So that the only thing that was left in those two ends of the fuse holder here were the end caps of the fuse which is that guy right there and this guy right here that's the only pieces that were left there were pieces of glass everywhere inside this thing normally that fuse looks like this that's what that fuse normally looks like okay so I didn't have any of these originally. I had to order them at, at some later date, but I didn't have these originally. So what I did is I managed to jewelry rig up um, a fuse here. Wasn't the right one, wasn't the right type, but I jewelry rigged it up with a couple of um, um, alligator clips and plugged the power back in and turned the power switch on and that blew immediately. So that told me that there was something really going on here. Um, long story short, what the problem is, it's actually down in here, and I've already unsoldered this from the board, so. It is this guy right here. This here is what's known as a bridge rectifier. Takes AC, converts it to DC for the power supply. Now, this normally, this has four diodes in it, so if you try to do a continuity test on any of this, this all should appear open. Now, the two leads here on the inside are where the AC comes in. Sorry about that. And there's positive here, negative here, as you can see from the label. And uh, for that fuse to blow, um, there's I knew that there was probably this thing. So the first thing I went and did, I will move this out of the way and I will bring in this multimeter here. Now, there should be nothing here. If I set this for continuity mode, so basically if this thing shorts, it makes a noise. So yeah, that, you can probably hear that in the background. So 
theoretically, here's a brand new part right here. Okay, so if we go anywhere here between these two leads here, between these two leads here, this way, this way, this way, this way, there's nothing. Now, well, here's the other part. I'm going to go right to the two AC inputs. It's a dead short. So that's why the power, that's why the fuse blew. <laughs> and uh, if we go through some of these other ones here, I think. Yeah. Okay. So this thing is just, it's toast. So that's the story with that. So we're going to replace this. I'm going to put, replace the fuse. And hopefully, hopefully nothing else is damaged in this power supply. Hopefully it comes back to life. And you know, we'll go from there. So I'm going to get everything set up. We're going to get my soldering iron set up to go. And um, we'll just, um, we'll go from there. So um, I'll get everything set up. Uh, like I said, I've already desoldered that part from the board. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to solder in the new bridge rectifier, put the fuse in, plug it in, turn the switch on and see if it blows back up again. So that's where we're headed. So I'll be back as soon as I get everything set up. Okay, so I've got the board up and I've done my best to bend all of these leads more or less to where the original configuration is. So I'm just going to try and get this in here and see if I came close to getting it right. Let's see here. There's one, there's two. I gotta get in here and bend them a little bit more, I think. Those two are in. These two, a little bit more difficult to get. I get that to line up is not terribly easy. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right, so. I'll turn on my soldering iron. I'll flip this over. So, all right, basically we're there. All right, I got all the leads in. Soldering iron is heating up. Um, now, like I said, hopefully that's all this is. It's just, it's this piece here and the fuse. And once I get everything back together, it should work. So, with that said, I will now grab my solder, which should be here somewhere. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of solder in here real quick. Now, this should go relatively quickly. I'm just going to clean my tip off a little bit. Basically, we're just going to, let's see here. I want to see if I can get this a little bit closer. And then I'm going to go get the focus a little bit adjusted here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alrighty. Okay. So there we are. And pretty simple. We're just going to solder this in. There we go. And in. There we go. And in. This one wants to be a little more difficult. There we go. Got it now. And the 
this guy here. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, this video is going to be kind of short. So, clip these off. All right, clip them off. So those are out. So basically all we're going to do again here now is, is we're just going to mount the board back in on these posts and I've got to put the receptacle back into the case because that's your plug right there. That's got to go back into the case. So I'm going to do a little bit of reassembly here. I'm not going to bore you guys with it. Um, I'm just going to get this to sit back in here like it's supposed to. And then I'll be back to do the final smoke test and see if there's anything else going on here. So stand by. We're going to be getting this done real quick. Okay, so bridge rectifier is in. We got a replacement fuse in here. Now, to be on the safe side, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the cover on. Because if there's still something wrong and this thing decides to violently explode like the last fuse did, I don't want any glass flying into me. So, if there's, if there's a smoke show, you'll see the smoke. But I'm just going to put the cake on here. <laughs> because I'm really, really not going to be a happy guy if... That thing explodes and I wind up with glass everywhere, especially in my face. That would not be a good idea. So I'm going to plug this in. And we're going to turn the switch on and we're going to see if it basically smokes itself to death. Okay, didn't smoke itself to death. I didn't hear the fuse explode. So the next step is, well, let's see if we have power. We should have 13.8 volts on this, on these terminals back here. So let's see what we get. Positive terminals at the top. And that's a little high. It's 14.4, 14 14.5, but we have power. So it is actually working. So. I believe I would call that a success. I don't know about you, but I would certainly call that a success. I will, there's a little voltage adjustment uh, in there that I can do, but that's it. Pretty much done and done, boys and girls. I don't think it's going to get any better than that. So that's it. Real straightforward. I'm going to go hook this back up. I do have a spare power supply that, that I can use, uh, which I have been using actually for the past few days. Um, so that's not an issue. I just, I wanted to get this back up and running to make sure that uh, that was actually the problem. So it seems to be the problem. I'm going to go put it back in service and uh, let it do its thing. Uh, and I think that's probably going to be pretty much it for the video. So anyway, I hope that, uh, you know, this was at least somewhat entertaining, maybe somewhat educational. And with that, I will see you all hopefully soon. I still have the um, gaming benchmarks to run on the white system that I built. Um, I'm probably not going to get to that until probably sometime next week. If I'm lucky, I might get to it uh, before the weekend, but don't count on it. Gaming benchmark things take several hours because you have to run the game. You have to load the games on. You have to run them and do all of the stuff. So it, it's a bit involved. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully you guys uh, at least somewhat enjoyed that. I'll catch you later on. Bye.